some enterprising fan should just put together a supercut of every time one of us said big tentacles exploding on this episode. Big t- tentacles exploding. Big tentacles exploding. <laughs> Big tentacles that are exploding. Big tentacles exploding? Big tentacles exploding. 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 Big tentacles exposing. Mythos Busters, investigating the mystery, monsters, and madness of Arkham Horror, the card game. Hello and welcome to episode 56 of Mythos Busters. I'm Sean. Joining me tonight are my friends Nick. Hi, Nick. Hello. And Ian. Hi, Hi. Ian. Hello. And Scott's here as well. Hi, Scott. Woo! Full crew! Woo! <laughs> Don't wait for anybody to respond. Just keep going. <laughs> Choo-choo, motherfucker. <laughs> that might be a little bit of line lag. Um, so, guys, we've got a fun episode planned out for you tonight. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of catch-up at the beginning. No news to catch up on. And then we're going to play a fun little word game. Arkham word game tonight uh, as our discussion topic. So it should be nice and relaxing for your Saturday night. So... Uh, before we get to any of that, though, let's let's check in with you guys. It was just me and Ian last time, so uh, Scott, what you been playing? Uh, I've been playing uh, Return to Dunwich Legacy mm. uh, and with my normal group, um, and I have a hilarious story from it, where we were playing the museum, and there's that that new card from the Dunwich Legacy. <clears throat> it's similar to the one where it's like choose a card type everyone discards that but it's like choose two actions yeah. and you can't do those mm-hmm. uh like investigate whatever and so i looked at the board long and hard and i was like okay the snake dude isn't out uh i only have one more person after me drawing a treachery um there's no reason we need to fight or evade so i'm gonna choose fight and evade and as the words come out of my mouth um alex who's playing with me uh, starts cursing up a storm because uh, he is playing Yorick and he had just drawn Graveyard Ghouls. <laughs> um, so yeah, I made the worst decision possible and uh, for the best reasons possible and it was amazing. <laughs> Did but, he end up just forfeiting his turn? No, what we ended up doing, well, that was the talk, like, oh, geez. Um, but another player, uh, BD, came in and, like, did two actions and then took the ghouls off of him mm. so that he could do something else. Yeah, Good old just multiplayer it... shenanigans. Yeah, and Yorick actually died that game. And so did I, actually. Huh. So Died or were defeated? Yeah. Sorry, defeated, uh-huh. but we were, yeah, yeah. We, we passed the scenario. We got R1 or whatever. We burned the book because that's the proper thing to do <laughs> i'm i'll get to it in a minute but i'm going through vanilla dunwich right now with someone who's never done it before and i'm letting them make all the decisions and oh boy it's painful mm-hmm. wait you're choosing to do vanilla instead of return uh we're playing on octagon so choice made for us uh, also it's his first time playing Brandon game yeah it's my brand <laughs> yeah, yeah. game well i mean first time or not i still think return is is I think it has more interesting. Uh, maybe it's just because I know of vanilla. I guess. Yeah, I would, I would agree. It uh, is a little bit harder. Um. Anyway, Nick, what you been up to? Very little Arkham. Uh, I played three standalone games with a forty-nine experience Roland deck. Since now I actually have the um, the uh, gosh, what's it called? Dirge of Reason. So I have his alternate signatures finally. Mm-hmm. Um, so I made a standalone max experience deck and just did Depths of Yoth three times in a row. Um, and that's been my Arkham experience for the last two and a half weeks. Uh, I haven't devoted a lot of time to it yet, but I should be getting the circle undone next week. It's shipping right now. Um, and I'm really excited to dig into that uh, and just go full bore Arkham for like another, you know, week and a half. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> Let me know if you want to remote play that. We can mm, we can find totally. time. Mm-hmm. Excellent, Ian. 
Uh, what hijinks have you been up to since last we spoke? <laughs> the main hijinks are um, investigating the witch house. Got the secret name on Thursday, and I've played it three times so far. Oh, uh, I haven't had a chance yet. Is it good? It's it's really good. It's definitely an uptick in difficulty. It's harder than the uh, TCU scenarios. But, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, but not in a way that I personally I think is unfair. It's just, like, you have to be prepared and know what you're doing. Um, so I don't want to spoil too much of that, but I guess the only new, so it's pretty much just playing the campaigns I've been doing, Joe Diamond, um, and Preston and Diana is up next. And I will say that we, uh, amongst ourselves, we've talked about how, like, good Joe Diamond is, and he is, but solo, some of these, uh, treacheries that rely on willpower are really slowing him down in the secret name specifically, so hmm. trying to think <laughs> of solutions for that. I it so, it's very early in the in this particular cycle, but I would not be surprised if this turns out to be the most demanding uh willpower cycle compared to yeah. any of the others. Now Ian, you're not saying like you don't feel like you're used to this as a rogue player? I feel having low willpower. Uh, or? Uh, <laughs> no, and the reason why is I'm used to having low willpower. I'm not used to it being punished as intensely as it is in TCU. Is mm. the difference? Mm. Uh, You're okay. bringing those logical okay. reasonings, right? Yes. Yeah. Definitely am. <laughs> but it doesn't solve all the problems there are. I'm like yeah. trying to dance around spoilers, but yeah, there's. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I thought I detected a wall. I wish there was a logical reasoning, or I, let me say, I hope there's a logical reasoning for other possible treachery traits beyond terror in the future. It's called alter fate. Sure, for those just, that can take just, it. Yeah, <laughs> I just meant for the double will icons. Oh, yeah, that too. I definitely have that for Joe. <laughs> uh, the one new campaign I started is uh, with Marie and Yorick because I wanted to finally, yeah. finally give Marie her due. I played her. A bit over the past few cycles but not like a full campaign so now is the time and she's been very good so far she's fun yeah she's really fun yeah fantastic uh for my part i'm just kind of slowly plotting along in like the six different campaigns i have going on um so let's see here i'm doing carcosa separately with two different friends one i'm playing roland one i'm playing marie both both are going pretty well um I've been playing a lot of standalone too, oddly enough. It's I'm kind of finding that it's my go-to instinct when I want to just try a bunch of new player cards. Because when Secret Name dropped, I was just like, oh crap, look at all this stuff I want to try. Let's just see if I can fit it into the you know six standalone decks that I have built right now and just get them on the table to see how it works, you know? It's a really quick way to just try things out with having to commit to a full campaign. What's your favorite uh, standalone nowadays or top three maybe like what do you go rotate through um yeah okay so if i do top three i'm gonna say eternal slumber mm-hmm. rougarou carnival i was gonna you could do like other scenarios like depths oh just for standalone yeah. mode in general yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So I really like Depths. I think any of the ones that were made for standalone are great. Um, <laughs> I, like... I think your I think your answer should be Winter Winds one, two, and three, right? I did like it. <laughs> I'm just I'm. I've, I've played them both once plug. a piece. <laughs> right. Oh, and Scott, uh, as you reminded mm. me here. <laughs> we have a little we have a little bit more uh, content synergy catch up to do. So last episode, if you haven't listened to it, uh, go check that out. Episode fifty five, I think. Yeah, we'll go with that. Sure. Uh, Ian and I made Scott a standalone forty nine experience Preston deck. <laughs> oh, Scott boy, has since sure played did. that deck, <laughs> and uh, and then burned it. <laughs> <laughs> I should also note that uh, our episode wasn't released. For Scott to listen to when he took this to his meetup, we didn't provide that is a anything. Key. Yes, we didn't yes. provide any piloting instructions. Nope. Scott, how exactly <laughs> did it go? Here's your pile of cards, Scott. Enjoy your night. I mean, it's Preston. How much variance is there, right? 
<laughs> well, there's one uh, very important instruction that we probably should have relayed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, that is to hoard money. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think there's like there's three main ways to build Preston. Kind of now, there's like the like smog Preston, like get a pile of money. There's the kind of mid range where you play good cards. You just have a bunch of money to play them. You know, like so 30, 30 good cards deck. I think, uh, yeah. and then you also have like. Dark Horse, poor Preston, where you keep him low, but you just use his money on his inheritance every turn. So I was thinking the deck you built me was like a mid-range deck, and so I played it that way, but it turns out that you want me to hoard money. (laughs) Um, So the first few turns went really well. Um, Lola. Yeah, he played cards really well, I'm sure. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, my tableau was amazing. My my first turn was unbelievable, and I gotta I gotta find the thing here. Um, but I had a great night. It was uh, uh, Cameron or the man from Lang was yeah. there, uh, and we played Eternal Slumber, and it was absolutely amazing. Um, we ended up summoning Neath, and then getting the hell out of Dodge <laughs> like two turns later, because that's how you do. Uh, so my first turn was, okay, Fire Axe, Lucky Dice, Lola Santiago, and then Flare into Leo DeLuca. <laughs> so my tur- at the end of my turn, oh, and I had a flashlight in hand. <laughs> so I had a flashlight in hand, and I had Lola, Leo, Axe, and Lucky Dice out on the board. So the first turn, I was like, this is amazing. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> the... Weaknesses I got were terrible, especially <laughs> the three enemies. Yeah, it was. I think if I had known to build up the money, it would have been very different because uh, I played it kind of mid rangey, but sure. It worked all right. I, I, I definitely see a difference from playing Preston level zero going through a campaign versus Preston with all his rich money toys. So, and that was definitely the hope. So. Yes, I think uh, I think I I have my own Preston standalone thrown together right now, but I think I'm gonna try out the Smog build next and uh, see how that deck we built actually runs. Mm-hmm. You know, with I th- with piloting I th- instructions. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I think what you guys were going for would definitely works. I think you could do it with a little bit less XP and therefore one less weakness or maybe two less. Like I know you guys were going for 49, like that was the goal. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's I'd be interested. Goal. Yeah. I'd be interested to see what like a twenty nine XP press looks like. Be less powerful. <laughs> Fewer enemies though. Thanks, Nick. <laughs> you got any? You got any other questions? <laughs> no, no, you just the first three weaknesses you draw would be the enemy weaknesses. So, yeah. Although I did draw Mob Enforcer during the game, and I was like, "Cool, <laughs> bye." <laughs> like, yeah, take my lunch money and go. Oh no, my precious one action. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, uh, so moving on from there, we're going to do a little bit of content catch-up. So immediately prior to recording this episode, we put out a Twitch stream for our latest segment in the Look What I Found series, where we looked at the new card from Wages of Sin called The Sixth Sense, and it was pretty good, I must say. So uh, if you weren't able to catch that, that'll be out on YouTube. Go check it out. Uh, Tuesday Night Arkham, like I said, me and my buddy Brandon are currently playing through Vanilla Dunwich Legacy. We made it up to the Miskatonic Museum last time. It went very, very poorly. Actually, the first (laughs) half of the game, we were rocking it. Yes. (laughs) Those are the best. (laughs) And I can't even really tell you where shit went sideways. It was a little bit chaos bag. It was a little bit poor decisions. Um, It was a little bit just rookie timing. And uh, yeah, we both ended up getting getting defeated spoiler alert uh but Ooh. but but in glorious fashion so go check that out uh and scott where's the av club at well we got up to the boundary beyond but we had a little bit of tech issues uh i actually had one of our uh members of our community fans friends uh casey or mr trench on um and so we might be re-recording one of those episodes specifically the boundary beyond one uh because audio we had some issues but that's where we are so we got to re-record that uh and then we just have to finish the cycle and do the return episodes and then we're gonna take a little break uh because my idea with av club is to be a couple months behind releases so that we're always playing the cards uh 
so we actually can speak about them intelligently so mm-hmm. like from experience so excellent ian what's going on with uh, abandoned and alone nowadays <laughs> it is abandoned and alone <laughs> just, just trying to find time to do it is the main thing i'm i'm thinking about actually doing some kind of late night streams which would be easier to fit into my schedule so just stay tuned to our all various channels and uh, i am still aiming to get some done in the next couple of weeks before march is over and still trying to hit my goal of finishing carcosa before march is done so soon yeah what two scenarios left you got this uh three pl- palad mass uh, and Onger. oh black stars yeah. and dim mm-hmm. okay all right well three still doable you got yeah. it excellent moving on from there ian what patron business do we have this episode okay so first off a thanks to everyone who has supported us on patreon the thus far and special thanks to our board members chris cyclos alex ian and dave and speaking of the board um the board in case you are unaware are those who are pledging at the 20 dollars level and what the board members get is that uh kind of the special bonus they get is even if they're not able to come to the major events like gen con and arkham knights we are shipping our the special swag we make for those events to them so that they get it they get it even if they're not able to make it and our swag for gen con this year is going to be fantastic so all five of those board members will have a chance to get their hands on it but we thought uh we've limited it to five board members so far and we've actually decided just to... because we thought no one no surely not five people <laughs> would be crazy enough <laughs> yeah and thanks we love you guys yeah we're we were super excited to to fill up those spots and the, and and have those filled um but we decided to open up another four further slots taking us to, to a nice round nine <laughs> uh so yeah so there's gonna be four open spots they're actually open right now and when everyone else hears this um when it's released those will be available so we're gonna have nine slots open so uh currently the five are filled there's four we're opening up and if you're interested in that level and getting a chance to get the swag even if you're not able to make it to gen con then head on over to our patreon page and you can pledge there <clears throat> also special shout out to a random patron this time this time kim christensen thank you so much for supporting us and finally talked a little bit about gen con but just another reminder that uh we are having a special event at Gen Con. We have special event uh, swag that's in the works. And that's going to be on Saturday at 1 p.m. The Saturday of Gen Con at 1 p.m. Just got an email that it's been accepted. So it looks like that's going to be our time. <laughs> Saturday at 1 p.m. Yeah. So uh, events themselves, don't. I don't think that happens till like April, I think it is, right? Or May. It was May those. last year, but who knows? Okay. Yeah, so probably May. So in a couple of months, just think about it. Make sure you sign up for an event. And as always, we end at Gen Con that Saturday night with After Dark, where we gather at the Slippery Noodle and play games and drink and be merry. <laughs> so join <laughs> us for that. You know, I, was... I should probably get my Gen Con badge. Yeah, you know, might want to start thinking about it at least. <laughs> I was just thinking about the other day how uh, excited I am to have that uh, Asian chicken sandwich again at the... Did anyone else have that at Slippery Noodle? Or was it Brandon that had it too? I had a chicken sandwich buddy that night. I don't know. Mm, It wasn't wasn't me. me. (laughs) I know I was going going crazy for Brandon's... I think he got the Cajun fries. Mm. And I was going nuts for those because they were really good. Yes. Just generally good food there. Mm -hmm. I love that we've we've kind of landed there as our as our staging ground um and for i suppose we should probably start talking about it now guys we finally got the the official blessing from (laughs) or from ffg event coordination um if gen con ain't your thing but you're thinking about arkham knights we'll be doing iron man this year we'll be doing what are we calling the depths of the auth event uh how low can you go that's the one (laughs) so start thinking about that as well Iron Man this year is going to be, it's going to be fun. It's, it's going to be a thing. Oh. <laughs> Planning has, has begun in earnest. Actually, 
planning began in earnest like three months ago, but <laughs> like the week after <laughs> Arkham Knight's 2018. Yeah, that's not even an exaggeration. <laughs> So, uh, keep that in mind as well. I don't think dates for that have been officially announced yet, but it's usually one of the last weekends in October in Roseville, Minnesota. They probably they probably won't get announced until the first weekend of October. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you joke, but that's far closer to the truth. Than I wasn't I, joking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> International flights. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> With, like, four <laughs> weeks' notice. It's just great. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's move on to a couple of community picks for the week. Uh, Nick, do you want to run us through our first one? Sure. Um, So the first one, uh, I know that we shared it on our Facebook page, uh, but I wanted to bring attention to it here on the podcast. I'll put a link here in chat as well. Um, This is an individual on YouTube uh, named Julius who is creating deluxe campaign guides. He started with the Return to the Dunwich Legacy. This is a hardcover, print-on-demand campaign guide for both Vanilla Dunwich and the Return to Dunwich Legacy. And these things, like, I I was just talking with the other hosts a few weeks ago saying that I think the next thing I'm going to upgrade uh, is going to be the campaign guides because I hate having all the loose paper just floating around in my box and it's like i wish i had something that was more consistent and nice and pretty and these things look like they're exactly it i really suggest uh, anyone who isn't familiar with this uh um this product to check it out uh and then you can order one like i said from lulu uh it's they're beautiful like i said hardcover um the pages are gorgeous and i'm super excited to get them on my shelf so where, uh, if you're interested in finding such a thing, um, there's there's a project out on Lulu. We'll include Julius the link to Julius's video that he threw together in our show notes. It's an unlisted video, so we can't just like. Mm. So anyway, just check the show notes if you want to check it out, um, and then links to the actual you know files and Lulu project are in the description of that video. I recently got a tablet because apparently I'm like one of five people <laughs> in the world who st- who still sees the value of having a tablet. Um, so I downloaded all of the campaign guides digitally and I've been kind of enjoying that, but oh man, this Mm -hmm. one, (laughs) I've been looking at it real hard for a while. I think I'm going to lose this staring contest pretty soon. (laughs) I have a, I have a binder set up where I have like those plastic pages where you can slip a single piece of paper and it's like clear on Mm -hmm. both sides. It's like a giant card sleeve for a page and I have all mine in there, but I'm really tempted to get this book. They're so gorgeous. (laughs) And one thing too, like Julius has made clear on the chat or whatever he makes zero money off of this yeah. he's doing this like labor of love and what you're paying is literally the cost to print it and he's not even involved he basically just made the yeah. the layout mm-hmm. and said hey anyone who wants to print this layout in order for themselves can do it so legal issues and all that stuff he literally just did this for himself and is like if anyone wants to borrow this to print for themselves he's what we would call a hero <laughs> accurate not all heroes wear capes that's right some of them make books <laughs> mm-hmm all right, excellent. So then I think the other thing that we wanted to pick out from the uh, the community here is uh, <clears throat> we got another another podcast on the block there, guys. What you say there? You want to go check them out? Do we need to make more room in the blood feud? Is that what? Is this a bit? No. no. If it's a bit, I'm not in on it. <laughs> There's no bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, a couple of uh, people who have already been making content for the uh, community... Um, so let's see here. Their their current their individual channels are Lost in Time and Space, The Whisperer in Darkness, and um, oh shoot, who, what what is Vase, Vase Keep, uh, Innkeeper Vase Odin? What's his uh, series? Twisted Tentacle. Twisted Tentacle in. I yeah, got there. there go. um, so anyway, they have joined forces and uh, started a podcast called the Great Old Ones Gaming Podcast, and you can find them at. Uh, TheGreatOldOnesGaming.com. You can check out their first episode. Uh, I checked it out. It was very informational, and I'm very excited to see where they go from here. I like I like having other podcasts to listen to. So now, so now we take this podcast under our wing and unite as a front against Ronda the Flame. Right? That's that's the play. <laughs> those those pesky Brits. Someone's got to take them shake, down. Shake my fist. Yes. Well, I mean, Cameron's a Canadian. Isn't that, isn't that making him? Uh, an imperialist by default are you calling me an imperialist <laughs> well no but i i know you better right. well, <laughs> i speak for all canadians when i say hey buddy 
I ain't no imperialist. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, go check them out. Like I said, they're into their first episode now, and I'll, uh, I'll be interested to see where they go from here. Yeah. Ian, what news have we? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. the, the secret name did release um so we got we just started the cycle in earnest so that's kind of news but there's no news articles i was i was kind of hoping you were going to do like a family guy like hey ollie how's the weather it's go rain it's go rain um all right so then let's move into rules since we got you here this week scott and we've got kind of an interesting hot topic something that caused a one might say a little bit of a kerfuffle a little bit of a maybe um so i got a question to ask you guys do you would you guys uh like to know clearly how multi-class cards work for deck building rules that'd be great yes cool I... so would we uh or i <laughs> so <laughs> So who's the we? The the rulesy people, I guess. I speak for all rulesy people. Okay, so I guess the the I want to say the issue, but the issue is uh, the with the forgotten name, the insert. It had a different rules writing than the one they the FFG put up on their site. Uh, so the one that we're kind of going off right now is the FFG one on the site because we assume that that one is the most recent because they can change that way easier than going into your house, taking the old pamphlet and giving you a new one. Oh, is that uh, what that guy was here for? Yeah. So, I mean, oh yeah, you live right near FFG. Of course you get that first. <laughs> so, <laughs> so basically how it works is multi-class cards are both a, let's say, for school of secrets, uh, a secret card and a mystic card at the same time. They're not neutral cards. And as far as limited access goes so if an investigator has limited access to one of the classes on the multi-class card and unlimited access to the other class uh, to one of the other classes on the card it will still occupy one of the investigators limited slots so if you have let's see finn taking goodness i need to know the the cards better (laughs) what can finn take thompson sour mash sour Mm -hmm. mash so sour mash is rogue and survivor if Finn takes it, it will t- it will count as one of his survivor splash cards because it counts as one of the limited ones. The big thing that changed, though, is it says unless their deck building options contains the word, and in quotations, other in it. So that the big thing about that is the Dunwich Investigators because they can say their deck building instructions say from any other class. So for the Dunwich Investigators the dual class cards work the way you want it to, where it does not take one of their five splash slots. Ooh. As long as it, they they have, like Jenny could take the Thompson and it doesn't count as one of her splash. She get, she gets to count it as a rogue card. Correct. Because like all the Dunwich ones, it says other in her deck building things. So that's what we're going on now. Um, Matt was nice enough to come on to the Discord and mention uh, he's going to be putting out an FAQ soon. That is uh, going to clear up a lot of things i guess with a lot of examples and stuff hopefully that Scott, comes soon yeah real real quick uh do you don't happen to have a link on you that i can throw in the show notes at least until the faq's up uh no but i'll put it in the chat i have a okay. picture on my phone <laughs> that really perf that'll be the picture for the episode I'm perf- really is that the one you took tech. for me oh no not that one better make sure not to post that one <laughs> I mean, or do it. That's fine. There we go. Wrong picture. No, <laughs> I mean, the picture I'm going off is literally the on the FFG website. The it's rules so insert. Mm-hmm. So it's important to note that uh, in the secret name printed rules, it's the old version. So mm-hmm. don't use that version of the rules. You're gonna want to look on, at the FAQ online or the online rule sheet to figure out how these multi class cards work. The rules you have easy access to. Ignore yes. them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and like I said, Matt is said he's going to be putting out an FAQ. So once that goes yeah. live, we can have this whole conversation over again and clear we'll up. We'll check back in. All the fog. All of it. Mm-hmm. Matt will answer all of the questions. Before we even ask them, I have full faith. Mm-hmm. Excellent. No pressure. <laughs> yeah, you know. Put the pressure on Matt. <laughs> okay, guys. Well... <laughs> Let's move it on into our game for the night, then. Oh, boy. Uh, Bold. 
You know what? Three. True. There are four people in the world who get that joke. Luckily, they're Three. all on this call with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so tonight we're going to play a little word game. A little game that I'm calling Word Economy. <laughs> Really nothing. Just yeah, we all get it. You hate click economy. Yeah, okay. move on. Okay. <laughs> well, the word economy. You. Anyway, all right. So we're not going down that rabbit hole. Uh, so here's how this is going to work. We've all selected a bunch of cards, both player and encounter cards, and we're going to take it in turns to try to get other people to guess the cards that we've chosen, giving as uh, clues that are uh, let's see here in as few words as possible. Let's go with that one. So, for instance, I'll go ahead and knock this one out right away so no one uses it. If I said quiche, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah. Just backspacing. Loser. <laughs> loser. All right, I'm replacing that one. Scott would say, oh, knife? <laughs> okay. You loser. <laughs> Emergency cash. Okay, so let's <laughs> pretend, though, that Scott didn't get it right the first time. I could then say, quiche, fast. The whole point here is that when the person guesses your word, we're going to see how many words you had to use to get them there. And uh, basically, it's going to be um, the max score is if you use one word, you score five points, and you lose a point for every word that you have to use after that. Clear as mud? Yep. Yep, <laughs> and we can only we can't use any word that's on the card. Correct. Yep. So, and then the other rule is you cannot use any word that's on the card, game text, or flavor text. So let's all uh, be ready to police each other there. And then as well, I know it's kind of kind of odd, but try to remember when it's your turn to guess. Minimize Discord because I'm sure everyone in Discord is going to mm. want to play along with us. Yeah. yeah. Good point. Who's keeping score? <laughs> I will keep score in our show notes. And just to be clear, just to clarify, each round we're paired up with another person, right? You well, every, every time it's your turn, you get to pick who you ask. Oh, so it's a favorites game. Well, there's there's a little I there's see. a little bit of a meta game. No, there. I, I can just leave now. That's fine. <laughs> because because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Both you and the person who guesses it scores the points. So going for the person who will get it or who you believe will get it most quickly might not always be the right move. Sure. Yeah. yeah. All right. We'll see how this goes. Let's see here. So I'm one. All right. So in order, me, Ian, Nick, Scott, Alexa, roll a D4. <laughs> I rolled a six-sided die and got six. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Alexa. When you see the yellow light ring on your device, it means you have a notification. Wow. Okay, Alexa. Just say We're done now. Stop. Alexa, shut up. <laughs> Just All right. Well, that went. That everyone's Alexa. <laughs> that... <laughs> I probably did. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize what I've done. Okay. Um, so here's what we're going to do. All the power in our hands. We have two people in the Discord saying that you made their Alexa roll, too. <laughs> yeah, so I think that's Ian. Uh, okay. Uh, Matt, since you're in chat, why don't you just pick one of us to go first? So- you just got two twos. Oh, someone else rolled a two. Okay. Oh, oh okay. See, I just, I just looked at Discord. I get it now. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> All right, so a two. That would be Ian. Ian, you go first. Okay. Uh, so I will pick Nick to guess. Oh, and I'm doing this live. I have my box of cards here. <laughs> and I'm going to oh, pick shit. a card at random. <laughs> oh, you're my hero. <laughs> okay. I told you guys it's I was going to do it live. I've never heard of. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Um... <laughs> you're brave, sir. There are some obscure ass cards out there. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't plan to win, but I do plan to have fun. Uh, Wait a minute. Okay, okay. Question: Can I make a guess before he says any clues? And if I'm right, how many points would that be? Stop being silly. No, seriously. If I can, just one card. Can I just name one card sure. if it's right? You'll score six okay. points because that's that's six minus zero. Okay, perfect. Um, Ian, I'm. Do you have your card mm-hmm. ready? I'm going to guess shrewd analysis. That is wrong. Okay. <laughs> oh, right. thank God. We can proceed I was about as, to say. We can proceed as normal. <laughs> okay. I would have shat myself if you've gotten that right. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. First clue is 
cogs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there a Gears of War card? Um, cogs, a uh, machine, uh, oil, kerosene. I think I'm getting too far down the rabbit hole. Um, I, uh, I better just name something because uh, I don't want to waste this guess. I really want to win this car. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, hang on. We'll get we'll get to it after Ian's thing. I forgot to say what we're playing for. Cogs. Um. Oh. Oh. Um. Okay. I think I might know at least what scenario it's. For. I think it's an encounter card, and I think it's from a particular scenario. I suppose I can talk out loud because you guys aren't going to try and steal or anything like that. Correct. So I think it's from Labyrinths of Lunacy. Um. At least that's what comes to mind when I think of like machines. Like, that's the first place my brain goes, because that one's all about, like, traps and machinations and all... Well, machinations are... That's a different thing, but anyway. <laughs> um, God, I don't remember it. Let me pull out... Can I Can I reference my own cards? Sure. Okay, because I don't know the names of these. some here, bro. <laughs> I'm not stalling. <laughs> settle down. You don't look all right. Uh, <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, my first guess is going to be... Uh, um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, <laughs> oh my, my first God. guess is, this is terrible. the shut up. <laughs> Serious, I want to. I gotta. I gotta try. All right. Um. Fine. Chamber of Sorrows. Incorrect. All right. Well. Okay. Fine. Second clue is bank. What the fuck? <laughs> mm. Oh, I know no. what it is. I know what it is. Okay. Is it from Circle Undone? Because I don't have that yet. <laughs> nope. I've lost. Oh damn it. Cogs and bank. Um, all right, so it's so think word association. Cogs, bank. Um, oh. oh, 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 oh. Um, uh, uh, golden pocket watch. Incorrect. Okay, okay. Next clue. Uh... I mean, I have my next guess ready. So whatever you pick. <laughs> Do I need to bring out the egg timer here? Come on. <laughs> what did you expect? <laughs> Some of us prepared for this. Not... What? He didn't prepare with me. <laughs> okay, third clue is... Because um, <laughs> I have to make sure it's not on the card. Extra. Yes. Borrowed time. Yep, that is correct. There it is. So three clues. As soon as I said gold pocket watch, I was like, no, it's the other one. <laughs> All right, so that's three clues to Nick and three clues to Ian. Oh, clues. Oh, okay. or, or should it be clicks? Well, it in this sh- case, it's clicks. It's words. It's word economy. Ian, it's your turn. No, it's, uh, it's Nick, it's your turn. <laughs> okay, I was like, wait, what? Um, all right, I'm going to pick. Let me draw a random card for my stack Oh, here. my God. <laughs> okay, I'm Sean, going <laughs> I think you and I are the only ones that, like, prepared cards with I'm going to go with Scott. Okay. All right, Scott. Do you want to make a pre-guess? <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the gathering scenario card. <laughs> no, like the reference card. Come on. Yeah. No. All right. No. Okay. Anyway. Darn. Um. <laughs> okay. Your first clue is shaving. Oh. Uh. I know which one. There goes. There goes a card from my list. Uh, well prepared. Yes. Nice. New boy. Nice. All right, so that's five to Nick. Scott. And me. Five to Scott as well, right? Mm-hmm. And five to Scott. So I'm in the lead right now, right? Correct. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Scott. Uh, I want to pick Sean, but I think I have to pick Nick because I want to get this one done <laughs> before everything else. Oh, boy. Okay, Nick, you ready? Uh, maybe okay um i'm gonna guess uh lock picks no okay <laughs> okay only <laughs> jesus and wait no that's not on the card um only and it's not on the card um only, only you so it's not a signature because that's where my mind goes immediately but it can't be that because only would be on the card so then it would have to be um uh pfft, forbidden knowledge no only card only card <laughs> key, key of ease yep i just got it <laughs> sorry did you guess key of ease no 
<laughs> Only card deck. Oh my god, shotgun. Yes. <laughs> oh, <geez>. <laughs> <laughs> Only card. The only card is shotgun. It's is your deck. Any, any, well, that's not the name of the deck. The name of the deck is there. Is there any other card other than? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so that was two points to Nick and Scott. Uh, three. It was, I got so, it in three. Three points. Got it. Three minus or six minus. You three. awarded me three the first time I got it in three. So logic. Wait, dictates. was that was that your third guess? Yes. I did a pre okay, guess. Yep, yep. Okay. So we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay my turn. <clears throat> All right, well, we'll get this one out of the way since I expected, like, the next... After I spoiled Keisha, I expected the next person to jump on this. Uh, so we'll say, Ian. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was hoping for four in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Manatee. Leo DeLuca. That is correct. <laughs> well, that's just cheap. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I said, I expected it to be gone by the time it got around to me, but here we go. Ugh. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's All true. Right. Lord of Hat says you can't just say the name of the card. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn it, DQ'd. <laughs> okay, Sean, what are we playing for? Um, oh yeah, I think at this rate we played a uh, sixty. No, 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 no. Oh, what's what are we pro- playing like, for? What's the... Yes, okay. Yes. That's. <laughs> hey, I would have forgotten, wouldn't I have? Um, <laughs> so tonight, the winner of the of this game. Gets to choose the... I, I don't know if everyone remembers that when we instituted Patreon, we put it out there that our patrons at a certain level could give us a rule that we have to follow for an episode. It could be you know just replacing a word for another word, or when someone says something, you know, we have to get up and do the hokey pokey. Like, some rule for next episode that everyone else will have to follow. The winner picks it. That's what we're playing for. All right. All right. Ian, back to you. Uh, well, I'm going to pick Sean because we're in the yeah, holding up the rear right now. Uh, so let me pick a random card. Here we go. Oh, what God. What we got to get? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, uh, okay. First, <laughs> first clue is ugly. Ugly. Oh boy, it's like half the card pool. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna combine with my second clue. Um, phew. mother. Ugly. Uh, is it? Um, oh shoot, what's the one that heals horror when you kill a monster? Um, it's in my head. Uh, not not. I'll see you in hell. That's the one that defeats things. God damn it, this is harder. Hurry up, Sean. <laughs> oh, well, I have the card, I just can't think of the damn name. You guys were looking at ArkhamDB to confirm things, right? That's... I was looking at my physical collection. This is over? Why can't I remember the name of this card? Hang on, this is this is just silly. Just pick a card! <laughs> <laughs> I have picked it. Um, if it bleeds, is if, if it bleeds is my guess. Incorrect. Ah, damn. Second clue is Creature. Ugly creature. Is it... Oh, I think he's doing one of my cards. <laughs> is it Brown Jenkin? <laughs> Incorrect. Aw. Uh, this is a toughie. Uh, third clue. Mm-hmm. Pinned. Pinned. He's oh. totally doing one of my cards. Uh, this is Delay the Inevitable. Nope. Incorrect. What? <laughs> oh, Sean, you're so Ooh. bad at this. What? Oh, oh, I know what it is now. All right, give me your, uh, like, I'll, I'm going to have to take, like, two points on this. but I uh, Fourth clue, reaching. Dig deep. Yep, that's it. <laughs> really? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so this is what I, no, so seriously, I was going to go next with that exact card. I was going to pick Scott, and my first clue was going to be pig. <laughs> <laughs> that was better. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I would have dunked on that, but okay. <laughs> All right, Nick, Peacock. we'll give us your real next card. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, I'm going to pick Scott because I already said that. All right, okay. Scott, your first clue, motorcycle. Mm. Oh, um, d- uh, daring maneuver. No. Mm, your second clue, oh. Brandon. 
<laughs> I didn't ex- I didn't expect to get past two clues, so you better get this. Brandon on a motorcycle. Cause I'm like I'm I'm thinking like shotgun because like, I know it's not shotgun, but um because that's the whole, like, you're riding on the sidecar of a, mo- of a motorcycle with a shotgun shooting Cthulhu in mm-hmm. the face. And you're a nun. Oh, right. You're also a nun. <laughs> that's oh, man. I I can't even think of a card that... Like, that's the only card that I can think of that has quick quick thinking. Third clue. <laughs> Play mat. <laughs> oh. Oh, my good. I... <sighs> okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what more cycle oh, has to do with Brandon you know or a playmate. You know what? I think Scott thinks he already guessed it. I think he thinks he already guessed it too. <laughs> oh. Scott, you guessed daring maneuver as your first one, right? Yes. Oh. Um Oh god. What's the the rogue skill where if you all in? Uh No. Quick thinking. He already said that. Opportunist. No, no, it is. You succeed by two. No. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> I know. I know the card. Our f- narrow escape. Yes! There it is. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Motorcycle. <laughs> is that three points? I. Yeah. Yeah. Motorcycle. I totally. Yeah. I totally could. I thought I. Yeah, yeah. no, you said daring maneuver, which has the, the car arc. in it. Yeah, yeah. I I confuse those two all the time. <clears throat> daring escape, and then I said Brandon yeah. because you and I were on the AV club with Brandon, where he panned that card, and I lost my mind on him. <laughs> I was thinking Brandon from Cardboard of the oh. Rings, and I was like, <laughs> what? And I was trying to think back to like Tuesday Night Arkham, and I was like, "What? Thought, what does this have to do I with?" I thought for sure you'd get it. I was like, "Yeah, motorcycle. He's got this." Oh <laughs> uh, well, Nick's still in the lead. Sure is. Yay! Uh, Scott, hit us with your next one. All right, <laughs> Sean. Uh, I am not pulling away <laughs> thing because I thought we were. It's hard. I thought we were like. Oh, mine are all pre-prepared. Things. Yeah, which is Sean. Thought, yeah. Antlers. Uh, scrying. Incorrect. Fuck. <laughs> Boss. Oh, okay. I went I went a level too deep then. <laughs> Ghoul Priest. You did, yes. One Woo! level too deep. <laughs> I was really hoping you'd say level three scrying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's four points. Ooh, not 117. Golly. <clears throat> All right. All right, this one should be pretty easy. Let's see here. Who's, who's behind? Ian. Ian. Mm-hmm. Your clue <clears throat> is bird. Whippoorwill. Got it! Nice. Oh, you took one of mine, and my nice. first clue was bird, too. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's <laughs> bird? Dunwich. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ian, your card. Uh, okay, I got a few to choose from. Um, let's go for Nick. Let me draw, hey. draw it random. <laughs> As you do. Yeah. The two randos playing together. Yeah. <laughs> what, is, what is this, Xbox Live? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My clue is Scott. <laughs> um, oh. Uh, oh. What um, card defines me? I want to say Rex, but you played Yorick in Iron Man. So I'm going to say Yorick. Incorrect. Okay. Uh, second clue is advice. Oh, pff. <laughs> advice. <laughs> oh, this is terrible when everybody knows it, <laughs> and you're the one who has to know it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I just got there. <laughs> Scott, advice. Nick, no one should know this better than you. <laughs> what? It's, it can't be shotgun. We already did that. <laughs> Advice. <laughs> 30 good cards? Um, guard dog. <laughs> Incorrect. Damn it. I, knew, I can't figure it out. Third clue is... Uh, <laughs> miscounting. <laughs> miscounting? <laughs> 
Oh my god, this is so bad. <laughs> Nick, you're gonna face palm yourself straight <laughs> out of your seat. I have a feeling this is this is where I announce I'm quitting the podcast. <laughs> oh Jesus. Um Miscounting <laughs> Advice <laughs> Scott. Each clue is more confusing. Um, it's really not key though. Of Kiwis? No. <laughs> oh my god. god. Damn it. <laughs> Fourth clue. Maybe, maybe you should have led with this one. Drunk. <laughs> oh my god. Yep, there it is. Intrepid. Yes, it's intrepid. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, so, even, even when the clues are tailored to me, I still make them. <laughs> and I drew that one at random, too. Oh, my gosh. That's wonderful. What did that end up at? Two or uh, one? I gave four clues. Two. So. Okay, two. so two points. Sean, who's in, who's in, who has the lowest amount of points right now? Uh, we, uh, that would be me at 16. You were in the no, lead okay, at 18. I'm at 15, aren't I? No, you're at 17. I am? Yeah. Oh, okay. Didn't you didn't you get two from last time? Ooh. Uh, maybe I don't know. Okay, yeah, we'll go with it. <laughs> sure. All right, next. Hit so me. Scott's in last. No, Scott's one point more than me. Okay. All right, Sean. This one's for you then. Your first clue: rocket. Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, that would be John and Jesse Burke. Correct. Mm. <laughs> Team Rocket. Nice. Blasting off again. Nice. For a minute, I was like, "Do I lead with team and expect him not to get it, or do I lead with rocket and expect him to get it?" You chose team wisely. Work. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Scott. Uh, all right. I think I'm going to go with Ian because Ian, you and I are tied for last. Mm-hmm. I believe. Sounds like a solid strategy. We'll see. <laughs> all right. Hmm. Well, Ian, I think we have to. We have to play together here so i'm gonna pick an easy one <clears throat> do you want to pre-guess uh, oh i've been forgetting to pre-guess joey the rat okay. no okay. <laughs> <laughs> no one picks that card <laughs> <laughs> All not right, even in our joke game <laughs> yeah doorknob <laughs> doorknob okay uh <laughs> locked locked no hmm Wires. Wires and doorknob? Oh, I've got a plan. There, there you go. go. Nice. Okay. That's this my... game is so dangerous because if you start down the wrong path <laughs> yeah. on your train yeah. of thought, it's so hard to break down. My, my next three clues were home alone movie. <laughs> 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 Are we all tied at twenty one now? Uh no, Nick been? Nick's got twenty three. What? What a cheater. <laughs> obviously i'm obviously cheating by getting him on the third and fourth guess <laughs> yeah. all right scott mm-hmm. bite sorry bite bite guard dog no oh oh that's what i thought too all right building from that neck bite oh he's compounding his clues well i'm just adding it to the front bite instead of neck. behind yeah Neck bite. Beat neck. Hmm. <laughs> okay, no, wait. It's, uh, oh, okay. I can see the art. Uh, Come on, you got wait. it. Premonition? Yeah, baby. Yes. <laughs> oh, I was hoping you'd say daring maneuver. Because I was like, I see the two ladies in the white, or the same lady <laughs> in the white, but one's getting bitten. <laughs> my, my next clue was surprise neck bite. <laughs> and then my clue after that was future surprise neck bite. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> but we got there, so that's four. Nice. All right, Ian. Okay, I will pick, I guess, yeah, I'll pick Nick again. And, okay, random draw. Oh, boy. What do we get? I feel like we're playing 2v2 different games, but. It feels like it. <laughs> but we're not, like, we're also, yeah. like, the pre-prepared guys are playing with the random guys, and. The scores are pretty much the same, so. Yeah. Okay, so first, do you want to pre-guess? Um, sure, <laughs> I'm going to pre-guess um, uh, Mysteries Remain. Uh, no. That's a card that exists? Incorrect. That's the Roland mm-hmm. to replacement signature. Oh, right. Uh, first clue is nicotine. Lucky cigarette case. Got it. 
Wow. Ooh. Nice. I just talked about that card today. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have done it. <laughs> All right. That's five. So, Sean, can you read off who's in what place with yeah. how many points, please? So we've got Nick in the lead at 28, Ian in, uh, in second at 26, and then Scott and I are bringing up the rear at 25. So it's actually a pretty tight game. Okay, so I'm going to go with Scott for this one, yes. since I, w- I went with Sean last time sure. for mm-hmm. the easy one. All right, Scott, your first clue. <laughs> Guard dog. <laughs> Yes. I think that counts as like six words. <laughs> no. <laughs> when you type it out, there's no spaces. That's true. That's true. It's R O U R O U R O U R O U. Does that count as one word? Are we? Can we do sound effects? I didn't count the number of times I said it, so it better count as one fucking word. <laughs> If not, I'll do a, I'll do a different call. I didn't have my speedometer on, so I wasn't speeding. <laughs> do you want me to do a different card? No, it's different. fine. Okay. Well, let's see if Scott gets it right first. He did. Guard he dog. just said guard dog. Oh, you did. Okay. <laughs> How could if I? He gets it right. Beast of Holly. <laughs> <laughs> well, he hits for a guard dog. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with Sean. One. Yeah. <laughs> um... Gee, I keep bringing up someone in last, and then that person brings up the other person in last. I know. <laughs> this game needs king-making like rules. <laughs> Sean, I'm going to... Do you want a easy one or, like, a more Don't in- do that. interesting... Don't do that. No? Okay. No, you just pick. Give me the harder one. Put me, <laughs> in. Put me in, coach. Okay. Earmuffs. Oh, I know. Oh, earmuffs. <laughs> oh, earmuffs is... Uh... Okay, so hang on. I'm going to talk this out. It's either Dissonant Voices or Haunted. And I want to... Between the two, I'm going to say Dissonant Voices. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah! Oh, wow. (laughs) Oh, wow. That's great. (laughs) My next clues were screaming. (laughs) And then then skills only. And then basic. (laughs) And then fucked turn. (laughs) All right. Ian. Mm-hmm. Sundial. Sundial. Uh, time warp. You got it. Nice. That didn't even... I was, I was going to just do my second word as do-over and see if anyone <laughs> challenged me on the compound words. <laughs> but we didn't even have to. All right, time warp. That's five. You could have said rules fuckery. <laughs> 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 All right, Ian. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see... Nick is the next lowest, but I've kept picking Nick, so let's pick someone else. Uh... That's not how this is supposed to work. <laughs> okay, I'll pick Nick again. You convince me. Yay! <laughs> It'll take me five guesses, don't worry. Uh, okay, random card, here we go. Random card, here we go. Also, this is totally a game we're going to play at Arkham Knights. Actually, have like <laughs> a, just a pile of cards and charades but with the card or something from different <laughs> games uh, <laughs> um okay first clue is sight sight oh mm, i know it sight i know it what how can you know it off a of sight i think i know it so okay can i clarify sight s-i-t-e or sight s-i-g-h-t s-i-g-h-t that's what I was afraid of. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sight. Um, spot. Look Look what I found. Incorrect. Uh, second clue is boost. Boost. Sight. Boost. I Dipa. sight. Um, right of seeking. Incorrect. Ooh, okay. Nah. I did not know it. Next clue... Uh, oh, I think I got. Mm, I think I know. Next clue is oh boy, I'm trying to think of a good clue here. <laughs> this random stuff is hard. Times. Okay, um, <clears throat> I believe in you. That's like four clues. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is probably a bad clue, but <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> eternal. Ah. Uh-huh. 
I think I, I think that was a bad clue. <laughs> set, um, set him off in a whole other direction. I, I think eternal. I think I know what you're saying, Ian, and I, I get what you're. Yeah. So, uh, sight boost eternal. Because I was gonna go with a different card that was not eternal. It's actually quite temporary. <gasps> unless no, you can't. Oh, unless you're trying to, unless you're doing opposites. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with my other way guess. overthinking this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go with my other guess. Magnifying glass. No, that's incorrect. Okay. Uh, fourth clue Shit. is. I mean it. <laughs> It doesn't say this word on the card, so can we say <laughs> a certain word that's part of the game mechanics? Sure. I would say sure. Okay. Skills. That's your. That's. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm cool with that. Mm-hmm. Cause Sight. Cause I, I think boost. I know which card you're doing, so. Sight boost eternal. God, that eternal is fucking throwing me off. <laughs> and skills. Okay, I'm going to ask. Is this a circle undone card? Is that a fair question that I can answer? Well, his angle Because I know is like three of those. He doesn't own it yet. Uh, I, I would say, no, you can't ask that. Oh, God, fine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Arkham DB, circle undone. Oh, God dang. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, no, answer the question. <laughs> Stop okay. this from happening. You have the power. <laughs> it's not a TCU card, and I won't. Okay, I won't perfect. pick any TCU cards for you. So. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right, sight boost, eternal, and skills. Eternal. That makes me think dark horse, but sight, sight, boost, boost, and skills. Those pretty much just go hand in hand. Any sort of skill, eternal. Oh my god, eternal. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm sending him to another dimension. <laughs> this is like listening to a waking nightmare. <laughs> this is like a Lovecraft Try story playing out. <laughs> Mick, why are you in your underwear all of a sudden? <laughs> I feel like this is the auditory version of circling the horses around the wagon. Like you're, just, you're so close, you just gotta get to the wagon. Just... I'd say I feel like Charlie Day with the cork board yeah. off of uh, Always Sunny. <laughs> Um, sight boost eternal skills. I gotta, I gotta just make a pick. I gotta just pick something. Um, desperate search. I don't know. <laughs> Incorrect. I figured. <laughs> so last clue is, I don't know, expensive. Mm. Mm. J- 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you're. Oh man, you're just gonna hate yourself so much. I already do. <laughs> Like, I have enough self-hate without playing this game. (laughs) Um, uh, Jenny. That's my guess. Oh, okay. I thought you were were discussing it with yourself. No, that 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 is incorrect. Okay. Okay. So do I reveal it now? Yep. Okay. Keen Eye. Keen Eye. Uh, uh, Permanent. Eternal. Yeah. I was was trying to find another word instead of permanent. Eternal. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was picking up what you're putting that was down. Good. You did, yeah, you did obviously better than I did. <laughs> All right, Nick, what you got? Okay, this is another one that I'm like, I got one clue, and if they don't get it in one, if they don't get it in one, I'm gonna be lost. But we're gonna go with it. Now I gotta think who knows what I'm gonna reference as well as I do, <laughs> and I'm gonna say, Ian. Okay. Your first clue is. Terminator. Oh, Terminator. Okay. Well. Do you know I killed the dinosaurs? <laughs> we don't the Ice a, Age! We don't have a thumbs that's... up card. Or... Oh, wait, that's Mr. Freeze. <laughs> Liquid nitrogen <laughs> card. There's no I'll be back card, is there? <laughs> no. There's an I'm out of here. Yeah, that's why I was just thinking. Kind of <laughs> I started thinking of all the, the I'm cards. Yeah, I'm like, I'll be back. This uh, timeline is fucked. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Asta la vista card? No. I don't know. I'm going to say I'll see you in hell. Nope. All right, your second clue. Tarot. Tarot. Oh, it is not the card I was thinking. <laughs> and it can't say tarot on the card. Correct. I mean, that's not the, that's not the card. But you're oh, right. alt- alter fate. 
Yes! Mm. There we go. Mm. No fate but what we make. Okay. I, uh, I see yes! what you were doing. There we go. There's no fate except we make for ourselves. <laughs> Excellent. So what? That was three points? Four points? Four. Four. Excellent. Scott? All right. Ian, you and I are tied at 35, I okay. believe. Right, Sean? That's correct. Okay. Ian? Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Back to back. <laughs> I'm loosening mm-hmm. up. Clothing. Clothing. Mm. But not fine, not fine clothes. I'm assuming because that would count as yeah. No, it's not okay. Yeah. <laughs> clothing, clothes. Is that your guess? Is that your first guess? No. <laughs> Is that your pre guess? <laughs> Sounded like a guess to me. Nope. <laughs> uh, clothing. Okay, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Um, is it trench coat? No. Okay. Asylum. Oh, street jacket? There you go. Nice. <laughs> nice. My next okay, so my next clue was hug. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so let's see here. Uh, I am like super last. Nick, what's up? Your clue. Oh. Wait, did you see what Matt said? <laughs> what's that? Straight jacket has the clothing trait. Whoa, no. Does it? For s- Scott, are you actually looking yeah. at your cards? For no. some reason, I pictured a man yeah. doing the Phoenix Wright objection. <laughs> it's like, objection. Hold it! <laughs> oh, it does. Objection. <laughs> there it is. Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Lawyered. Um, what should we do? I'm striking those points from the record. Okay. Ooh, do I just not get to go snip. again? You can go again. Am I forfeit? Okay. I'm a merciful but You gotta God. be quick. Yeah. You have to go at the same time as Sean and I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> okay. I'll make this one a fast one. Uh, mannequin. Mannequin? Uh, mannequin? Fine clothes? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> I made that harder for myself than it needed to be. <laughs> it's the next one on my list. <laughs> The problem no. is I'm so used to looking at our dog fine clothes now. <laughs> I don't remember the original art. Um, a suggestion from Shed in the chat says they should dis- you should disqualify me, kick me off of Mythos Busters, and force me to join Draw to the Flame. <laughs> well, I don't know if you've earned that yet. Fair enough. But you're close. I'll double check my other clues. Nick. What's up? Your clue. <clears throat> wait, 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 wait. Yep. I'm going to guess adaptable. It is not. <laughs> okay. Your clue. I like the pre-guesses. <laughs> That's <was> great. <laughs> I've been so bad at them. And I'm, I'm seeing some flaws in my logic here, but we're still going with it. Your clue. Oh, great. Is flamer. Uh, flamethrower. No. And that was oh. possibly the flaw in my logic, because that's obviously... Okay. <laughs> um, well, there's no banana stand. <laughs> Second clue. <laughs> Second clue is torch. Torch, um, flamer and torch, kerosene. Nope. Cut. Hmm. Your your third clue is crazy. I know it's crazy that I keep going three or more clues on every one of these. Flamer, torch, crazy. Um. Oh, I know it. <laughs> um. Come on, hmm. come on, you got this. I know you do. Torch. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's Sean. <laughs> I'm going to well, slide Sean... right by the part where I ask what the hell that means. <laughs> <laughs> it means that it's you that's picking the card. What would you pick? Flamer. Of course, I go immediately to Arrested Development because <laughs> it's Sean. And that's one of my favorite gags in that whole series. Mm. But. Mm torch mm-hmm. what was your third clue crazy crazy so sanity oh 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 um 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 hubert um saint hubert's keep Ooh, no damn it well i didn't have a fourth clue so we're gonna go <laughs> we're gonna go your fourth clue is barrier ba- oh lita chandler yep <laughs> there it is all right so that's worth two damn <clears throat> all right ian okay so so let's see. We're all tied for thirty nine. It's up for Sean. Okay. Well, I think we'll Sean. we'll finish out the, this round and then go one more time through us all and see where we end up. So two more rounds starting yep. now. Okay. Yep. 
And the scores are currently, just for a recap? The scores are currently. Uh, all three of you tied at first for 39, and me in last at 37. Okay. <laughs> so I'm picking Sean. Let me pick a random card. Do, 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 do. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, boy. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, oh, boy. <laughs> boy, doesn't that laugh inspire confidence? Uh, first clue is relaxed. Eternal. No. <laughs> relaxed. Relaxed. Mm-hmm. Oh. Bunghole. Oh, boy. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Is this, uh, is this quid pro quo guy? The, uh, oh god, what's the name of the, 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 <gasps> the, the permanent that, oh, that's the un, untranslated and undiscovered thing. Shrewd analysis. Got it. <laughs> nice. Woo! It was literally the first card guessed for this whole game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it was my first pre-guess. Five for Ian at 44. Okay, Nick. All right, um, so Scott and I are tied for last right now, right? Yes. Correct. Okay. Um, Scott, I'm picking you, and the card, your, or I'm sorry, your clue is Venom. Oh, uh, um, well, I'm gonna guess it's probably from that scenario, or sorry, that campaign that we all love, uh, The Final Age, The Forgotten Age, sorry. <laughs> the Final, the final age. age, yeah. Venom. The Final Fantasy. Poisoned? Yes. Oh, nice. yes! <laughs> venom, venom, venom. That, that's what I was thinking too. <laughs> like, yeah, venom, venom. 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 All right, all right. Um, that was another one where I didn't have any other clues, so I'm glad you got it in one. <laughs> Sean, you're in last, so yep. I guess we'll go with you. That's the strategic pick, not because we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> I accept. All right. Do you want to pre-guess? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> okay. Flare. It's not Flare, yeah. by the way. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that would have to be Taunt. Correct! Yeah! My, ne- my next one was Milkshake. <laughs> oh my I God. like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I-, I love it, but if I had missed Flare, I have yeah. no idea where, to, would, where I would have right. gone with yeah. Milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So for my last one... For my last trick, it's your second last one, right? Do we want to do two full, two full more rounds? I think that's two what you said because we started okay. with Ian, right? Okay, so second to last one, yeah. Ian. Mm-hmm. Tentacles. Tentacles. Mm. Uh... Jesus, that could be like thirty <laughs> cards. <laughs> the most no. ridiculous thing Dead in the clue whole. Shot. <laughs> no, there's one card. There is one card. There's one card with Scott, more tentacles Scott than the rest. Scott is correct. Yeah, there, there is, there is a king of tentacle cards. I'm seeing it in my mind. I just can't think of it. tentacles. I was gonna say Del Two Deep for some reason. That doesn't even have tentacles on it. That's not a tent. Well, it could be a tentacle. Um, I guess we don't see the whole creature. Lots of tentacles. <laughs> Lucky is like a creature, Ten- but it doesn't have tentacles on it. <sighs> Freaking hell. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I want to say it's probably a Mystica card because they like their tentacles. <sighs> what the hell has tentacles on it? Uh... <laughs> a lot of cards, actually. <laughs> yeah. Like... <laughs> um, every Arkham game cover art ever. <laughs> <laughs> what card am I thinking of that has yes, a bunch of tentacles Yes, but on there it? is one right answer here. Oh, Elder Sign. <laughs> uh... <sighs> I'm just going to go with your best instinct right now. Yeah. I can't even remember which cards have tentacles on them right now because there's so many. Uh, <laughs> right? You just tune them out eventually. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I know it's not. I'll just say Lucky. Lucky is incorrect. Okay. Big tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> You're doubling down oh, on the Jesus. tentacles. <laughs> if, that, if the first one didn't help him. Big you're like Scott. You have a plan and you just stick to it. You don't pay attention to what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> Scott's like, yep. <laughs> well, yeah, because I, can, next... I have my clues ahead of time. So, my next clue was hug. Big <laughs> freaking tentacles. Okay. Um, you're better I than this, it. Ian. <laughs> 
Oh shit! Now it's a quality thing. Am I, am I though? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Re- research shows. <laughs> Big tentacles. I'm gonna say probably an encounter card. What encounter card has lots of tentacles on it? <laughs> uh, you've definitely seen this one, I think. I'm pretty sure you've seen this card. If it's an encounter <laughs> card, the problem is I usually just like, okay, I see the title. Let me put it <laughs> into the discard pile. <laughs> Not yeah. Look at the yeah. Art. Um. Oh, see, and I go with the art first. That's why I don't know half the names of the Carcosa cards because I just look at the art. And... Uh, I'll say, what's that? What's the that creature that has a bunch of tentacles? The the y- dark young. What the hell is it called? Um, it's from the core set. I can't remember the name of it though. Can we look up the name of a card if we're trying to remember? Sure. Relentless dark young. Nope. Okay, next clue. <laughs> Big <laughs> tentacles exploding. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Big tentacles exploding. <laughs> okay. Big tentacles that are exploding. Oh, maybe I'm not right. I think it oh, okay. I won't edit I won't editorialize <laughs> mid clue. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Mike, no. Mike, give me extra info. I was like, I'm gonna type it to Sean. Big tentacles. There's a certain <laughs> card art that's in my mind that I just don't can't associate with a card. Big tentacles exploding. Does dynamite blast have exploding tentacles? I don't remember tentacles on a dynamite blast. It, so at least I not totally big will, ones. I totally want to write a book now and call it Big Tentacles. Exploding. <laughs> <laughs> big. T- Tentacles explode. I like you just hear Jesus. Ian just flipping through cards. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably me, but <laughs> I'm gonna go with desperate search. <laughs> uh, that should be the name of this game. Big tentacles <laughs> and desperate, desperate search. search. I have no freaking clue. Um, what has tentacles on it? Big tentacles exploding. <laughs> Just that phrase. <laughs> this is wrinkly. This has stumped me more than any you other one. You know what? One. Sean, you sent me how the word you would have used instead. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say here. I'm gonna say you can change that. Cause... No! <laughs> yeah, come on. Now. I got eternal! <laughs> yeah, but everyone else but you got it. So, <laughs> And everyone else but him has this one. Yeah, that's true. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I appreciate Hashtag the deal with Scott. it. <laughs> hashtag deal with it don't get me wrong if my points were on the line i'd be like no let's let him let's just let him do it <laughs> someone some enterprising fan should just put together a super cut of every time one of us said big tentacles exploding on this episode I <laughs> yeah. big tentacles exploding. <laughs> exploding everywhere okay i know this card has tentacles but i don't think they're exploding big tentacles so... exposing Oh, geez. Uh, okay, I'll go Ancient Evils. Ancient Evils is coming. Finally! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Have I'm you seen that exploding? Have you seen the arch? I gotta look no, at okay. it now. You've seen it before. Immediately right? yeah. after I said the word exploding, I'm like, oh, erupting would have been a far better uh, word. Because exploding I mean, put you down the path of dynamite. <laughs> this is a card where I do not even process what the art is. Like, I see oh, Ancient really? Evils, I put on a see, doom, and that's it. I discard it. I feel like it. I could like, draw I Ancient like, Evils art in mm-hmm. my sleep. See, in the, I, I, when I draw the card, I see the art first, and then I'm like, I know exactly mm, what it yeah. does. You know, I so, remember the mm. green, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> I love how I love how Ian at some point is like, oh, it's, it's I think it's an encounter card. I'm like, yeah, it's the encounter card. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, I'm uh, sure you've seen this card. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's three points, and on to Ian. Okay, so this is the last round. Yep. Okay, and scores. So, Sean fifty. So. I'm at 50, Scott's at 49, Ian's at 47, Nick's at 44. Okay. I'm at what? You're at 44. Oh. I think I'm going to pick my old standby Nick. Yeah. Or you could pick me and you and I just take each other to the top. (laughs) (laughs) Don't don't believe him. He he gets the last word. (laughs) Let's see. Let me pick something randomly for Nick. Sean, I think you get the last word, don't you? Oh, did I go last? I did go last. Yep. Okay. Well, ideally, my last... Well, okay, I thought Big Tentacles Exploding was going to be pretty easy, but... (laughs) 
I guess it's different when you're in the hot seat. Yeah. Your brain just works differently. <laughs> okay. Nick, yeah. let me just make sure this isn't on the actual card. <laughs> okay, it looks clean. Okay, first clue. <laughs> Did you want to pre-guess? <laughs> Um, sure, I'm gonna guess. Hunting night gond. Nope. Okay. <clears throat> okay. First clue is fuel. 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 Kerosene. Yep. Got it. Sweet. Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> I was like just yeah, remembering Nick's either. long rant about how it should have fuel. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nick. Um, who's in last? Um, you and Scott are tied at 49. <laughs> okay, Scott. All right. Um, this... Okay, this... Your first clue. Okay. Men. Barricade. Yes. Yes! Wow! <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm angry and impressed. <laughs> now we're nailing it. <laughs> I was like, Cerebro or Men? Funny thing is, I could also have used big exploding tentacles for this one. <laughs> no, those are, those are small exploding tentacles. Modest-sized exploding tentacles. <laughs> okay. okay. Here we go. Here we go. Mm, what you gonna do here, Scott? <laughs> you gonna pick? Scott, gotta... you could just pick me, and we could carry each other to the top. Oh, we could. So, so mm-hmm. again, refreshing the score as we come into the home stretch here. I'm in last at fifty. Ian is next at fifty-two, and then Scott and Nick are tied at fifty-four. I think the winning choice is to go with Sean. Mm. Usually is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Sean. Hmm. Boxing. Boxing? Ooh. Now, there are two cards with boxing in it, and I don't think Scott would uh, lead me toward the card that no one plays. Uh, So I'm going to have to go physical training. My second clue is terrible. (laughs) (laughs) I will see your second clue and raise you a mano a mano. (laughs) That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's four. So if I can if I can get this in one shot, I can pull it out. Oh wait, hang on. Whoever whoever does it with me gets the points too. All right, Ian. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I can't I have one win. Clue. So. <laughs> I have I have one clue for this. Okay. If this doesn't work, tentacles. I'm gonna. Be, yeah. Well. <laughs> Here we go. Stegosaurus. Oh, my oh. God. I mean, I could screw you here, Sean, but instead I will... What benefit would it be to you? <laughs> <laughs> to see you fall. Okay. <laughs> instead, I will say obscuring fog. Woo! Got it. Oh, Sean wins his own game. <laughs> <laughs> Rigged. <laughs> Although you will notice the two of us that prepared ended with the highest scores. Um, so we've got, I ended at 59, Scott's in second at 58, Ian at 55, Uh. Nick at 54. Um, so guys, I'm sure we each have a little bit left on our list. Let's just throw it out there and see who can guess it. Okay. Corpse. Rotting remains. Eh? Yes. Oh. Prison. 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 So this was, a lot of these cards I picked when I assumed the goal was to get people to not guess them. <laughs> <laughs> that is counterproductive. So then I would, after prison, I would say faceless. <laughs> oh, um, the Night Gaunt from Labyrinth of Lunas- Lunacy. Nope, you're in the right scenario. Though. Faceless After abductor? that I would, no. And then after that I would, no, I couldn't say that if faceless was in the name. Oh, right. And then I would say shackles. And then Abducted? I would say ex- experience. Nope. Shit. The jailer. Ah, oh, the jailer. The jailer. It's been I don't want to eat too much time with this extra <laughs> stuff. So. All right. So mine, mine was chanter. Chanter. Mysterious chanting. <laughs> My second clue would be mysterious chanter. Mysterious chanter. Lita Chantler. <laughs> Acolyte. You got it. Acolyte. Because <laughs> quite often, yeah, I mean, like when you pull mysterious chanting, that's who comes wow. out right that's true yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I went a little abstract with it don't judge me okay uh zap lightning gun yep. <laughs> let's do more like that <laughs> let's see if someone can get this one drugs oh painkillers pain 
Nope. Beat you. What? Eyes. Oh, oh, God, it's that Mystic card where they oh, look like they're oh, on LSD. Oh, oh Prophesy. Yeah, and the... Yep. Got it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the I guy wrote that. an article about that. That's another one where I don't know the name, but I knew the art. <laughs> on the plus side, Prophesy now has three wild icons. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Right of Seeking blog. You're hilarious. <laughs> okay, here's one. Here's one. Here's one. Branches. Branches. Ear for death. Nope. Oh. Ooh. This one's kind of tricky because it's technically not a card yet. I mean, it is, but it isn't. What? It's not a card yet. Six cents. Nope. Oh. Branches? <laughs> I just went with our <laughs> spoiler. No. I mean, I'm holding it in my hand. It exists. Is it something from Winter Winds? No. <laughs> okay. This is this isn't this is an FFG made card. My second. Oh, is it? Oh, it's um. Oh, what's her name? The Mystic Ally. It's from... not Ikiak. Arkham Knights. Okay. But my yeah. second clue would have been Ikiak. <laughs> what? It's Dendromorphosis. Dendromorphosis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just have that as Again. a weakness in my Marie deck too. I should have when I thought the goal was to get them to not guess. Oh right, right. <laughs> well, you <laughs> did drink some good ones. I did. Okay. The last one I have is Frozen. Uh, Crypt Chill. Yes. yes. See, Scott and I are on the same wavelength. Last <laughs> one I have is yeah. Mind. Um, I expected uh, this one to be a four-pointer. I kind of need the second word. Mind wipe? <laughs> I thought captive mind. What's the second word? Mind bullets. Oh, shriveling. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Yeah, there's a few cards I'm like, oh, man, if we only do, like, phrases... Yeah, I'm yeah. But it's phrases. <laughs> Hunting weapon that shoots slugs. I can't Shotgun. want that now. <laughs> the shoot. I can't. Bl- oh man, I liked my clues for shotgun, but it just <laughs> just classic uh, overthinking. It was. It was. All right, so we'll wrap the game up there. Uh, good game, everyone. Good game, everyone. We'll probably <laughs> we'll reincarnate that in some way or another, maybe with. <laughs> few rules tweaked do you know what the your rule is gonna be sean that you're gonna impose uh, on i us? i don't yet but i will drop it at the beginning of next episode so everyone nice. can follow along i, I probably should have <laughs> pre-prepped one so everyone could be excited about the next episode mine was gonna be everyone has to refer to agility as the greatest stat <laughs> yes all right cool uh so let's move it on guys then to a little bit of tentacle time mm-hmm uh let's start out with scott this week what's been grabbing you who boy i've had a very busy week to two weeks i don't know if i've played anything besides arkham and my arkham time has been slim um pass come okay. back to me That's right. you know, <laughs> come back are. loop back loop back i'll think of your, something your tentacle time is adulting and sometimes we all have to do it mm-hmm, mm-hmm. nick what you been up to so um Mine's a two-parter, but I'll make them both brief in the... Oh, how, what time are we... Oh my gosh, we're under two hours. We're, I can go on a little we're bit. We're pretty okay. Um, <laughs> so, By our uh, standards. <laughs> <laughs> um, as I mentioned before, I'm a, a self-published author, um, and I have a series that I've been working on for the last few years, and I have spent the last year and a half plus actively not <laughs> working on that series, simply because I let other things crowd my schedule you and it reached a point i know right i yeah oh my god yeah um and i reached a point where i'm like okay i have another thing coming up that's going to really take up my schedule for the next six weeks um and that's gonna force everything else out i'm like and it would be awesome for me to make some headway in this series that i'm writing before that starts so in the last week i have written over uh 26 000 words and I'm 9,000 words away from finishing this book, so my plan is to finish it tomorrow and then just do the revision and everything later. Um, just but banging really... out 9,000 words in a day, huh? Yeah, that's the goal. Nice. Um, I normally do about three between three and 5,000 in a sitting, um, so this is just basically me doing two days of work in one day. But the point is that on Monday is when this new thing starts, so I want to get it done before then. Um, but I'm going to be releasing, uh, hopefully in two months' time, I'll be releasing the fourth book in my Astral Tide series, which is a space fantasy, um, low sci-fi, you know, kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy or Star Wars-ish. 
um, series about space pirates. And I really love it. Um, well, of course I do. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to finishing that fourth book and getting that out there. Um, and I might... Where could uh, people find like, that if they're interested in looking at it? NicholasCorey.com slash astral-tides. I'm going to put the link in the chat here you still have those um, the, available in ebook on the kindle store yep okay. ebook and print on demand paperback and what i'm thinking of doing um is when the fourth book releases i might uh release special coupon codes only that i'll only share on the podcast here so that listeners of the podcast will get the can get the first three books for a discounted price Whew. um yeah, so, uh, but the reason why I wanted to really kick that into high gear and finish that is because on Monday, I start rehearsals for my next community theater play, which some of you who are friends with me on Facebook have seen the posts. Um, it's A Few Good Men, uh, of which I'm playing Lieutenant Daniel Caffey, who is who was played by Tom Cruise in the movie. This is like a dream role for me. This is, I love the movie, I love the story, I love courtroom drama, <laughs> um, and this is this is me getting to play one of my favorite courtroom drama lead you can't handle the truth exactly had to be exactly. said at some point <laughs> oh it's so I, i'm like, <laughs> like how matt this... posted that in the exact same time i said it <laughs> right yeah so um like most plays i don't usually look at the script until we start with the um with the, i have scientologist no i am not a scientologist i'm just pretending to be a sign well, yet anyway. you were yes. testing yes. my feet yeah. levels earlier though so <laughs> <laughs> But um, normally I don't look at the script until our first read through, but I'm already like memorizing most of these. Like I'm already memorizing, have three of the scenes memorized because I was looking at the scene breakdown and there's most of the play. I literally just walk from one scene into the next scene. Like I don't spend much time off stage. So I'm like, I better get on top of this now. Um, and that starts on Monday. And then the show opens the first two weekends of May. So I'm really excited to get that going. Um, but yeah, those are my two things, books and plays. Excellent. Ian, what's been grabbing you? Uh, I've been having a bit of a sci-fi renaissance lately. Like I always, fantasy and sci-fi are kind of equal for me. Um, but I tend to like toggle back and forth what's catching more of my interest at the moment. And right now it's sci-fi. Partly because of shows I'm watching, like Star Trek Discovery Season 2 is really good. I recommend it for people who... Maybe weren't as hot on the first season. Like, the second season is uh, noticeably be better, even though I did like the first season. Um, I'm also working on uh, my own new game design, which I don't want to say too much about now because it's so new, but obviously it's sci-fi themed because I mentioned it as part of a sci-fi renaissance. But, uh, <laughs> like, out of everything I've ever designed, this has been the quickest. Like, I think it's been a week and a week and a half, and it's nearly ready to, like, print out and start playtesting, so... It's been super quick and like anything, so I'm, I'm taking that hopefully as a good sign. Uh, but the biggest thing I want to talk about as part of all that is I finally bit the bullet and started, not that it's a bad thing, but just people have been mentioning The Expanse for a long time. So finally started watching it, season one. I'm up to episode five now. I finished episode four. I'm in the middle of episode five. And yeah, it's really good. Everything, all the people who were kept telling me that i should watch it we're right um and i'm really enjoying it so far it's unlike i feel like most sci-fi that i've watched this is kind of it's interesting that it's the different scale that it's basically just earth and mars and the asteroid belt in between and that's kind of what it's limited to at least so far um so it's not like your usual interstellar sci-fi traveling between uh systems and so it's closer to science reality yeah and it's definitely on the harder end of sci-fi uh, meaning that it's like trying to be somewhat realistic to to science like when they are accelerating really quick they have to take these drugs that'll allow them to handle it so they don't die um, because the acceleration is too much for their bodies to handle and that takes them a while to like decelerate and turn they can't pull off like crazy um fighter pilot maneuvers in a big spaceship so uh yeah it, it's it's very much trying to like hold to that science <clears throat> 
And for me, I can kind of go either way. Like, I'm fine if, like, my sci-fi, like, just throws out the science and just says it's cool. I was about to say, you're a Doctor Who fan. Yeah, I'm Doctor Who. (laughs) Like, even Star Trek, a lot of time, it's, like, they do give, like, science behind stuff. But it's also kind of like, we have magic transporters that beam you around. (laughs) Like, you know, like, don't look too closely into it. Um, So, like, I can go either way, but it, it... it's a fine touch, but I, I guess for me, I'm just more interested in the characters, and it's kind of like a cool blending of genres. Again, I'm only in the first season, so I don't know how it develops, but I like that so far it's uh, kind of switching between like three different characters, and like one of the characters is like a investigator. He's he's not quite a cop because he's working for like a corporation, so it's kind of like a private police, I guess. But he's so has a very Blade Runner feel, like investigating the crime, kind of piece the piece things together. It has that kind of cyberpunk noir feel. And then the other stories are more like the uh kind of like sci-fi intrigue between factions type thing and then the third story is like the action survival like keep getting thrown into these situations where this character has to survive against the odds and uh so i I like that cool like mashing of genres but it doesn't feel like it's giving you genre whiplash you know it all feels cohesive so i recommend it Excellent. So, Ian, I'm just mm-hmm. going to jump in real quick here. Ian, if you like hard mm-hmm. sci-fi that is limited to our solar system, and I'm not just being, I'm being a little bit of a joke, <laughs> but I'm not just being. Wars. Sure, you should check wars. out wars. <laughs> uh, and I can, I can send you all of the official short stories that were published around it because they're mm-hmm. pretty good. They are. I can confirm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you are, you are catching me in the middle of this like sci-fi moment. So this is probably your best yeah. moment to try to sell wars to me. Get him while he's weak. <laughs> literally, 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 when I read the the synopsis of the Expanse, I was like, "This is just wars with some of the names changed, mm. and they took out the aliens." <laughs> at least as far as I know. So, which is one of the most <laughs> interesting parts. <laughs> well, for my part. Uh... I've been doing a few things lately. I've started a few new video games. Um, like I said, most of my Arkham has been kind of standalone. Um, the one I will actually bring up today, because it's kind of an oddball from everything else that I've played recently, is a little rhythm game that I downloaded on the Switch. Though you can hey, get it Apex like... Legends? Uh, yes, that one. <laughs> <laughs> you can get it anywhere, though. It, it started on Steam, and it's on PS4, and I'm pretty sure Xbox, too. It's a game called Thumper. So... Imagine if, how do you describe Thumper? So you you play as like this interdimensional beetle. I'm on board. <laughs> and uh, you're you're speeding along through dimensions, assailed by weird angles, and uh, and eventually you have to get to a, a boss, which are generally either some kind of tentacled porta- portal or some big nasty skull head looking thing all the while all the while you're playing to this really like industrial aggressive stressful urban soundtrack and it's just like oh i'm still on board yeah it's it's this really cool experience um it kind of reminds me a little bit of amplitude but basically how it's structured is you yeah, self-described rhythm violence game. It's 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 intense <laughs> oh, as an experience so cool. because every time you clear a checkpoint, you get through a certain part of this. I don't want to call it a song because it's not like you're listening to songs that have already been written. All the music is original to this game, and it's kind of set up to be part of that ambiance. But every time you complete a song, um, you you go through the gauntlet of like segments. They get increasingly hard. The music gets more and more complex and intense. And then eventually you have to beat the next boss, uh, which, again, you do by completing sequences. Anyway, really fun little game. It has, like, all the art is, like, super abstract. It's like if you were having a dream of, like, remember, like, Winamp visualizations or, like, <laughs> like back in the day? Mm-hmm. Like, if you were yeah. having, if you fell asleep watching a Winamp visualization and it turned into a nightmare, like, that's the visual style of this game. Uh, but anyway, it's 20 bucks, and it's really cool to just sit down and play it bite-sized for like five ten minutes at a time i got it on the switch and i'm really freaking digging it so check it out thumper 
It's also five bucks on iPhone. Oh, they have it on. They have it on mobile too. Crazy. Yeah, there's a pocket hmm. edition. Interesting. But you had me at rhythm <laughs> violence game. <laughs> yeah, that's that's nice. yeah. Because that's a genre I've been really getting into lately. <laughs> <laughs> but oddly relevant to the interest of the listeners of our podcast, because it oddly kind of feels kind of Lovecraftian. Because everything's kind of extra dimensional and weird and abstract, and then you're you're going after these these big entities that are challenging you with the different rhythms. Anyway, really cool game. Check it out, Thumper. Okay, I thought of a tentacle time. Yeah, uh, I kind of, sort of, half-assed got back into the Lord of the Rings digital card game mm-hmm. thing, uh, and quest. the new camp. Thing. Yeah, the thing, the type quest. <laughs> uh, they just released another campaign. Um, the first one was called The Shadows Something, and this one is also called The Shadows Something, like The Shadows <laughs> Fall or The Shadows mm-hmm. Reach. So You're selling it no super points hard. for naming. Um, <laughs> uh, it's fun. It's a lot better, I found, two-player, mostly because I voice chat with a friend, and <laughs> we bitch about it sometimes, and it's really fun to like complain about the game while you're playing. I'm not sure... <laughs> How much I would play it solo or seriously. Have you guys played it much? Uh, I played about five games when it released. And then I decided that I didn't want to play a game at my computer anymore. And I would take interest again when it hit the Switch or mobile. But a bit. Mm. I, like, I know I know the game. Yeah, I just got back into it recently. But that's... So by got back into it, I mean I played one game. So it's hard for me to... Uh, and yeah. it disconnected on me, so I have to uh, play some more because because they, they made some changes to it. So I'm still trying to get a sense of uh, like they did make one change, which I thought was good. Is like you used to be able to just like camp and uh, like once you complete and wipe out everything on a certain level, you can just get into this position where you just stay there instead of traveling to the next location and build up. And now mm-hmm. they added this thing where if you stay there and don't travel, then it'll start like raising your threat exponentially. Like each round you stay there or something like that. Yeah. And I or... played it at Gen Con <laughs> last year. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. It's kind of weird because we don't usually use technical time to be like, this is okay, I guess. <laughs> uh, <laughs> usually we're like, this is really awesome. Um, but it's okay, I guess. <laughs> My the the issue with two player as well is that all they basically did, or so it seems, and I'm ninety percent sure of this, is the health of all the enemies. They doubled it. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's like, okay, and? and the the and then the the health of all the like obstacles you have to quest into, they doubled it. Mm-hmm. And you're huh. like, okay, and let let's play. <laughs> And, oh, that, and that's what? literally all the change they made for multiplayer. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Um, hmm. Yeah. So, and there is no way you could play it. You could, I don't see a way to play it two player without voice chatting with someone. Like there's just, so you there's enough to coordinate. Yeah. I mean, you, you could do it alone, but you'd have to, I don't know, be telepathic or something, but. So Scott, you're basically saying if you want to spend 20 bucks on the game, and if you can play with either Scott or Dave, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. then it's fun. Stokes Book is who I play with. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> and his angry British accent keeps me alive. <laughs> you know, you kind of fucking like what, Michael mate? Kane, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that joke? If you could, in British accent, you could say Michael Kane or my cocaine, and it sounds my cocaine. Yeah. Mm, my cocaine. In his accent, yeah. yeah. My cocaine. My cocaine. Anyways, um, <laughs> I think it's getting better. Some of the card design is getting a little bit better. It has a lot of room to grow. I'm excited to see where it goes. Hopefully it gets better. But, yeah, that's my <laughs> lukewarm tentacle time. <laughs> well, and honestly, that game hits its most pliable market when it finally hits either a little bit Switch and a lot more mobile. Mm-hmm. So I'll be very interested to see what happens when they finally hit those platforms. So, correct me, but I, Ian and I, well, I asked this earlier and Ian answered in chat. So it started as a free game and yes. now costs $20? Yeah. Uh. They, yeah, they completely changed the model. Initially it was you... 
Well, it was meant to be freemium. It, because it was early access, you still had to, like, buy in. Um, but kind of the model that they were going to do when it went into full release is you get it for free, and then you, like, buy the stuff either through the points you get or through money. They ch- right. They completely flipped and changed the model because of... Um, I think a combination of their own analysis plus lots and lots of bad reviews that were just focused on the the payment model that people hated the freemium model. So they switched, they pivoted, and now they changed it to, yeah, you just straight up buy the game, basically, and they simplified all the pricing stuff. Because I actually, like, literally today I'm sitting at work and I'm like, I might actually want to try it again since I haven't played since Gen Con. And then I asked <laughs> that question, and then I immediately went to Steam, and I was like, 20 bucks! <laughs> like, yeah, you, you maybe I'll wait a little bit. You've always had to pay it, pay to get in. But their their idea was because that it's eventually... Still technically early access, right? Yeah, yeah because it's early eventually access. it would be free. It was mm-hmm. never actually free. But mm-hmm. their plan was oh. for it to be free eventually. But then they changed that, and now it's pretty much like playing an LCG, where you would mm-hmm. pay 20 bucks for the, quote core set and then you can buy campaigns and packs like you would in lcg where you purchase and you get everything Mm -hmm. okay yeah yeah the thing that's brought me back is that they've released some new uh new campaign and player cards as of last week was it i think it was last tuesday Mm -hmm. this past tuesday so it was a long long stretch in between the initial release which was september i think and now in march Mm -hmm. with no new content which I think w- it, it, it hurt a lot. And so uh, hopefully by releasing new stuff, they can kind of bring new players in. But All right, excellent. Well, I think we'll wrap it up there. So guys, uh, as always, if you have a comment, question, gripe, moan, or bitch, feel free to call in to the Mythos Busters hotline at 203-493-6984. Questions, comments, concerns, gripes, bitches, or moans. Sorry. Thank you. That's the You're one. You're welcome. Email us, Twitter us message us on facebook uh like i mentioned last time if you haven't joined our discord yet get on it that's discord.me slash mythos busters it's one of the best communities you'll find on the internet and we're on spotify just as a quick reminder if you like spotify we're there you can listen to us turns out okay guys so uh we'll wrap it up here for episode 56 of mythos busters and we'll see y'all next time (laughs) 